Hey, I'm I'm trying to save you, buddy. You're one of the dudes in the independent faction. I'm still trying to save you because I'm such a nice guy. So fuck yourself. All right, I'm pursuing. This guy can take his land back on his own. Or is that my brother's army? Uh, Chief Moshka. No, it's not my brother's army. Where's my brother's army? Oh, it's still marching. Tried to make uh, Lithuania realize benevolent peacefully. Oh, he hurt my relations with Lithuania. I forgot I was even trying to befriend Lithuania. <laughs> Sleep with him, then kill him. <laughs> I like that. All right, I'm sieging your country now because you're dumb and decided to attack me. All right, I mean, if you're evacuating uh, Vladimir, then I will go to Vladimir. Okay, good. That guy took his land back. Invest in technology advancement. Uh, a military one. I want light infantry. Yeah. Military, military organization is morale and global supply limit, which is good. Not light infantry. That's my thing, is I've got great light infantry. Alright, I'm gonna go kick his army's ass again. Is he gonna escape before I can get there? Yes. Stay put. Siege. Uh, hey, allied army? You wanna come over here and help? Is my brother's army almost here? No, he's all the way up there. He's gonna go help with those? Or no, now he's coming down here. Great. My besiegers were hurt. Uh, oh, wife's pregnant. Sweet, more kids. Because our kid... Sucks. She's five and has no traits yet. <laughs> Alright, he's actually sieging that pretty quick, but I'm sieging his capital. I'm on the winning end of this one. See you, current Keta. I think I'm gonna end the stream soon, too, because it is getting late. Defensive pact against me is starting to dissolve. Good. Oh, what? Hold on. Uh, outbreak of disease? Inside the walls of Vladimir tribe killed many of his besiegers. Great, that's me. I'm the besiegers of Vladimir. Bandits raided me, killing many of the besiegers. Oh my god. Oh, of the Vladimir tribe that time. So I, I think he was actually hurt that time. Defense might have been disbanded. Good. Ooh, they are losing bad. Defeat. Yeah, we did lose that uh, province there has been besieged, but we're gonna take it back like it's nothing. Yeah, we just took their capital, which they're much more worried about than we are. Yeah, he's trying to run from me. I'm just gonna charge him. Fuck him. I can take his army on one-on-one. -on -one. Can I bring anyone else in? Yeah, you take the left flank. So we have another commander. They're crumpling. Yeah, their army does not stand a chance head on with our army. We're actually really low on cash now, which I'm worried about. Whoa, whoa. Game thought I was holding space. That was weird. Occupation. Yeah, we're only losing 5% on that occupation. Our brother can go take care of that. Where is he retreating to? Here? Because I want to chase him and I want to really slaughter his army. 1v1 Umbro. Yeah, I'm going to have to dismiss some of my army. So... Okay, good. Our brother is taking care of getting that province back to up our war score again. Split half the army. And disband it. Actually, no. You gotta go back to friendly territory so I don't lose troops. So that'll take a minute. Which is a shame. We'll lose some money. But I gotta cut my costs here. There. Where are you going? You're going to a neighboring province, not even one of your own? Okay, I'll siege in the meantime. I'm trying to stream once a week. I'm trying to stream more than once a week. It's just, you know, had a lot of problems. Hey, Ash. We're ending soon, but we had an incredibly successful session. It's been awesome. Are you going to go try and take one of mine? Because I got all these allies up here who can take care of you. I'm just going to keep sieging your fucking land. Our brother is taking care of getting some of our land back. The new vassal we just took over can probably handle his own up there. Yeah, dude, just send your army back over here. What are you doing? 
dumbass. Uh, we had a son. Sweet, we actually have a son now. I forgot to name him after someone in the chat. I'm stupid. Title loss and succession. Yeah. Dangerous faction. The dangerous faction is actually getting weaker, which is good. Okay, are we still losing money? We're losing a dollar a month, so we will have to just probably get rid of some. Mm. Okay, good. The morale for this, for the defenders, went down, so we're actually about to take them. Okay. One more province, and they likely capitulate, so I might have to go into a little bit of debt. We did, we did get three coins, so three months worth of holding our army up. And we just got that province back, so our war score went up again for them not having any of our land now. Though our war score is likely about to go down because our fucking idiot allies are not defending our province up there. Okay, our kid is lacking a childhood focus, right? Finally, um... Right, how do I want to teach my kid? I kind of want my next ruler to be a good financial ruler to start, like, ta really taking care of the land that our warring ruler has conquered. So thrift or duty? I want duty. Yeah, I want you to be conscientious. I want you to be a good leader because you might be our next ruler. So that's what she's going to be educated in. Uh, I could summon Devit warriors. I'd lose a lot of piety. And I believe I'd have to pay them, so fuck that noise. Call to arms? Can we call any more allies? All of our vassals support us. Hey you, I know you hate my guts, because I conquered you forever ago, and your wife's dead of illness apparently. Uh, can I call you to arms? It's a maybe. We'll not join a religious enemy against our brothers of the faith. I'm gonna ask anyway. What are you gonna say? I'm your fucking liege. We unfortunately cannot join you at this time. Go fuck yourself. Fuck. <laughs> what happened to you, dude? One-eyed. You got a shitty army. Call to arms. I'm your liege. You'd better join in. He's taking a while to respond. Okay, he's raising his army. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I just lost all that? Fuck, I just took that land, and the idiot capitulated my land to another empire in the east who has a minuscule army. I can't believe these fucks. You capitulated to that. They've got nothing. They have like 500 troops. Oh man, I'm mad. And I don't have the cash right now to fund my- to fund a march on them. <sighs> Alright. Gotta bring down the army temporarily. Ooh, that makes me mad. Oh, we had to take down our army. <sighs> okay, we're making a gold a month with our land. Damn it. Our prestige is good, though. I could build another thing, Earth Hill, for you. Yeah, that costs money, though. I could upgrade my war camp for another 40 light, um... Another 40 light cavalry. Or light infantry, rather, which is our big advantage. Ah, that sucks. That sucks so much. All right, it's worth spending prestige fast because you never know when your leader's gonna die and you lose all your prestige. Upgrade the war camp with our prestige. Play a whole match of this game while speaking like Grimity. I don't think I hate myself that much, let alone hate the audience that much. <sighs> okay, we st that snafu aside, we have taken a lot of land. How's their financial situation? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Isn't his wife in our prison? Yes, the leader of that country's wife is in our prison. He desires High Chiefdom of Yaroslav, which we have. Yeah. 
Hey, you. How would you feel if I did something here? You want a ransom? Ten gold? It's like nothing. Whatever, it's a year's worth of my income. I'm re ransoming his wife back. We need to make some quick cash so we can go invade. Oh, you're dead. Died in battle. Who will even take you if I ransom you? Uh, I can recruit you, actually. You're not actually that mad at me. You're very good at intrigue, so I kind of might want to keep her in prison. Uh, your ransom is not even on this list. There's no one who will take a ransom. Yeah, ransom prisoner. Oh, I'm currently considering ransom from a, for another. I can only ransom one at a time. Good to know. Why can't I ransom more than one at a time? Uh, you're narrow-minded. To the narrow-minded mule of Radislav, uh, that's me, <laughs> your low character is a subject of Greek plays. I accept paying your nation a ransom for the safe return of High Chiefess El Yuva. Thanks for the cash, bro. Who else is in our prison? You. All right, you're the wife of... Oh! That fuck. Uh, no, you're not, you're not in my prison. I released you from prison. How about you? Your husband's dead. Who can I ransom you to? <laughs> I could ransom you to this little girl, the six-year-old, and you'll say no. Oh my god. Heartless six-year-old is imprisoned by me. Yeah. This little girl. Can I ransom you? No, he'll say no. Who are you related to, little girl? You're not related to any of these people. I guess you're gonna rot in the dungeon. Uh, is it just the two left in my prison? Looks like it. Can't ransom them. No one wants them. No one's willing to pay the 10 gold for them. Uh, let's we'll hold on to them for now. See if we can make some money off them in the future. Prosperity increased. Levy. Reinforce rate increased. Good. Uh, Major River. Levy. Reinforce. Yeah, still don't have the prosperous thing there. No hospital in this county. That's right. We actually need to get a hospital at some point. 100 gold. We can't afford that. You see prisoners under the in integr Why can't I pronounce that? Why can't I pronounce that? Do you mean intrigue? Is that a butchering of intrigue? Yeah, that's a, that's a butchering of intrigue, isn't it? Prisoners, thank you. Yes, this is all my prisoners. I cannot ransom either of them. I can release them and I can execute them. Things I don't want to do. Threats. This guy's a threat. Why is he a threat? He's the leader of the independence faction. I have a very low chance of assassinating him. I'm still trying to assassinate this fuck and I've been trying to assassinate this fuck for a long time. I don't like this fucking guy. He hates my guts because I conquered him, you know. Uh, I, I hate- he hates my guts because I conquered him. He's a different religion, so he refused to back me up in that war. We wouldn't have lost that land, by the way, if he backed me up. And I'm furious that that fucking guy went against his liege and gave his land to another country. That wasn't his land. He was my subject and he gave that land away. I want to conquer these guys. Fuck them. I just don't have the money to go marching in there for long. I only make a gold a year. And they got more money than I do. I don't think I could conquer them fast enough to not go into debt. Debt's pretty bad for the country. So we gotta build up some money. Uh, if my opinion- oh yeah, we already had this one before this was negative. Let's just do just. Did we become just? No. God, I want to become just. It makes our vassals like us more because we're fair. I think I might actually switch away from war focus, though. We're so dominant in war, I don't feel like we need to keep on it. When I could be moving to rulership and start making some more money. Actually, business. 
tends to get you a lot of money. It gets you a lot of random events that help you with cash. You can only change your focus once every five years, I believe. <laughs> too fat, too furious. A Henry VIII biography. I like it. God, we have 666 piety. Paganism really is, uh, Satanism. Christian fundamentalists. <laughs> We've been doing pretty good so far. We're eight years into our rule. Our iron-fisted rule. And so far, our people have lived good lives and our enemies have lived very poor ones. Anyone nearby we could loot, get some serious cash from? Not really. See, here's the thing. The cash we'd be getting from looting our neighbors right now is not as much as we'd be paying to pay the looters to fight. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. I went downstairs and discovered Taco Man opening one of my letters. I can either teach her a lesson or say she could use the practice reading. I'd lose some prestige. I don't give a shit. I get prestige so easily. She could use practice reading. She might have higher learning skill because of this. Face smiles upon me. Wife's pregnant again. Nice. Might have a third child. Hey, kid. You're a dwarf. Uh, of course, I have a dwarf kid because I have a dwarf wife, so it's likely to happen. Well, dude, um... Learn etiquette. Because you're gonna have a hard enough time getting people to like you as is, so you better- you might as well be polite. Alright. Trying to teach my kids right from wrong. What religion are my kids? Do they have religions yet? They're both my religion. Good. I don't want religious issues yet. If I can get like a teacher for them that's like Catholic, I'll do that because I do want to make this a Catholic nation or Jewish or anything organized. Paganism sucks. It makes it really easy to declare war, but I can't actually get a better government type when I'm unreformed pagan. I could reform paganism, but that requires I take very distant lands. I need all the holy sites. Okay, my brothers provide me proof that, um, the chief of Tever has been viciously slandering me. Good, I hate that fucker. I hate this son of a bitch. I had to conquer him and he sucks ass. Denounce him publicly, giving me a reason to arrest him. That's tempting. I, if he declares war on me, I can kick his ass. Nothing stopping me. There, I publicly chat on him. Literally. Alright, yeah, becoming a great warrior again. 23% chance of, uh, de of catching him. He'll declare war on us or flee if I fail. I'll probably fail, but I'm going to do it anyway. Failed to capture him. He's raised a flag in his rebellion, so he's got his country back as a rebellion. It's nothing. I'm going to conquer it like it's nothing. This army is so much more than he can handle. This alone is all I need to take them. These guys can stand down, save cash. Uh, hey brother. Call to arms. Help me with this rebellion, I don't want to have to pay all the money. I no longer feel fear, I've become brave, this is awesome. Martial skill up, personal combat skill up, morale defense up, vassal opinion up. Brave is a great trait, so we're even better in fighting now. Oh, sweet. We have now converted to Slavic faith on, um, on Bella Ozero, the place I've been trying to convert this whole time. Oh. No, never mind. He didn't pull it off. Good job, asshole. Keep trying. You literally shat on him. <laughs> Publicly. Yep. It was a public shitting. I am not a just ruler. Alright, my brother's mustering his troops. Where are you marching? You're marching to Tever? You gonna march to my lands after? Yep. Here's what I'm gonna do. Split in half. Uh, 
fucking I hate selecting individuals on this there. We're gonna take his land faster than he can take ours. And our brother will do whatever he does. If we lose that land, we lose that land, we can take it back easily. Uh, intrigue focus become king of Rus. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, you. You actually gonna back me up this time? I'm calling you to arms. This is our country. You better back me up. You. I know you're the leader of the independence faction, but I'm calling you to arms, and if you say no, I'm kicking your ass. Oh, of course you can't join. I hate that guy. Oh, hey, the guy leading the independence faction against us is actually willing to muster his troops. I guess he sees it. I guess he realizes what country is there to try and declare independence on and take over if you lose it. Where are you sending your troops? Send them up there. Go muster with my brother's troops and move up there. Idiot. War camp has been built in Novgorod tribe. Good. Our war camp has gotten to level two then, so we can raise even more light infantry, which is what our commander is best at, is light infantry. Yep, we have another kid. Another daughter born. Name after someone in the chat. Who most recently typed? EVJ. Boom. You're a daughter in Novgorod in 778. Just like real life. Ah, they're about to take that one, but it's really not a big deal. We can- we have enough money that we can hold on for this, I think. Defeat, yeah, we lost our- it doesn't matter. Oh, so many victories. Where are you marching to? There? I can meet you there. Uh, actually, I might just want to take this. Where are you marching to? I could just pincer attack this guy and leave my brother here to take Tever. How long do these streams last? Ah, uh, just kind of whenever I want to. Sorry, I, I probably said forever ago I was going to end soon. I'm an idiot. I'm going to end after this war. All right. Pincer attack. Move my armies in from both sides. Is our brother still sieging Tever? Because I hope he is. Because I don't need his help with this and I'd rather... Nope, he's coming with me. Okay. Um, The abhorrence of the Orthodox faith have steadily dwindled to the point where the... Uh, Iconoclast believers are in the majority. This new state of affairs have reduced the Orthodox faith to de facto heresy. All former Orthodox holy orders are now I Iconoclast. Okay, so there's been a schism in the Orthodox Church. We are annihilating this army. We slaughtered them. All right, here's what I'm going to do. You're moving to Tever to take it and to pursue their army. My other army is going to my lands to go disband and save me the cash because we're super low. And they're about ready to capitulate anyway. Hate these guys. It's their fucking plotting against me is what's wasting the uh, money of our army here. Disband them. Slow down our money loss. Here we go. Offer peace. Enforce demand. Our prestige is up again. Fuck you, man. You're in my jail now. Alright, our army's disbanded. Yeah, buddy. Opinion of me doesn't matter much now, does it? How much can I ransom you for? 70 gold! He can't afford 70 gold! <laughs> Wow, he's got negative four. Why does this only happen with big army, uh, big empires? Yeah, big army, big bucks, big debt. See, the problem is when it comes to us and the worry of debt. This is seven late seven hundreds Eastern, uh, as it Eastern Europe. It's just a forest. Like, there's no development. Like, these, like, yeah, we have a big country by land. But when you look at these provinces, like, this is so underdeveloped. It's just some tribes. There's almost no money income. The Novgorod province is the only somewhat developed tribe. 
It's the only one that actually gets us a halfway passable amount of money. <laughs> big army, big bucks, big dick. <laughs> Alright, we need 500 prestige if we want to up to War Camp 3. God, our War Camp is already really good. It's getting us an extra 80 light infantry. And believe me, that's a lot for us right now, especially because light infantry are our best troops. Because we have those bonuses. Our, um... Our leader, our high chief, is also our main commander, and he has a lot of bonuses to leading light troops. It's what we trained him in. That and fighting in rough terrain, so... All of this is rough terrain, because we're in Eastern Europe, and, uh, I have shitload of light troops. So, that's why I have such an advantage even after- even in relative number fights. I am playing a relatively easy team to play as in this year, though. Thanks for following, it's Ludar. Hope you didn't just show up to stream now, because I'm actually ending real soon. That was really fun, though. I really had a lot of fun with that. Wait, EVJ says wait. Gotta wait to see what EVJ says. MDB is my dad. Yep, in this game. Uh, EV- oh, Jesus. What's your last name? EVJ Radislavovna. Radoslavovna. EVJ Radoslavovna. Slavovna. Oh, that's a hard one. Um, your opinion of me is high. Long reign, personal. Yeah, yeah. Liege is brave. Dwarf. <laughs> Choose focus. Um. I want thrift. I want you to be thrifty. Yeah, see if you can learn how to make us some money. Maybe you can become the Chancellor, or rather the, the Steward, which is the person handling the money. Or if you ever become the straight-up ruler, it's good if you're good with money, because that does mean we get more to tax income. And considering our current leader is such a good warlord, I'd really like to follow him up with someone who can manage money well, so that we can start developing the land that we've conquered. Uh, did you remember to tell people that Tad is on browser now? I did tell them at the beginning of the stream, but I can tell them again. Tad's on browser now. Link at the very top of the chat if you're watching it live on Hitbox, and there's also a link on, in the description on YouTube. Tad is now on browser. You can watch advertisements in your browser and get me paid, which is pretty fucking cool. You can also do it on your phone. But I think this is a pretty good time to end it. Next war should be against memes. We'll never win. It's ending, crying face. It won't be long before I stream this again. I love this game. All right. So just as a big refresher of our big goal right now, we want the Kingdom of Rus, and we own most of the land it takes. You only need 51%. We do have 66%. We do not have the money uh, to buy it out, though. But man, I want it. I want the Kingdom of Rus. After that, we can make the Empire of Russia. But that... That's going to take a little while, because uh, I don't know if you notice that uh, this, I'm pointing with my hand as if you can see, this is a lot of land that I need to take for the Kingdom of Russia. But that's for another time. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and until next time, have a nice day.